This is a training that I get asked a lot, okay? And it's how I edit my videos um, that you see either on Instagram, that you see on YouTube, and that you see on Facebook as well. So I get a lot of uh, questions from you guys about how do I do that? And so today I'm going to show you how to edit videos on your phone using this awesome app called InShot, okay? <laughs> so let me show you like some of the examples of what you are what i'm going to show you how to create and i'm also give you a glimpse of the app as well okay so all right so this is the app and it's called InShot, and you can download this app to your phone uh, if you have an uh, iPhone or if you also have an Android phone by going to Google Play. The app initially is free, which is awesome, and you can do video editing, which you can trim videos, you can remove the middle part, you can split videos, you can merge clips, you can adjust the speed. And today we're gonna talk about splitting the video, adjusting the speed. Uh, we're also gonna talk about a little bit of transition as well. They don't talk about that, but you can have transitions as well um we're not gonna talk about war uh music we're gonna talk about stickers as well and this is like the basic training just the basic doesn't mean that i'm not gonna go in a whole lot more detail later but this is the basic training for the beginner and so that's in shot the app is free however there are features with the paid version okay and the paid version uh, i think it's like 29 dollars, and that's a lifetime and i always suggest to my clients just like i'm going to suggest to you that anytime that you're using a app or a new feature or a video feature or any kind of uh, uh software if you're going to use it more than 50 percent of the time then go with the paid version okay I know I use it a whole lot, so I went strictly to the pay version. And of course, when you go to a pay version of something, it's going to give you a whole lot more features. So in this video tutorial, I am using the paid version of InShot. Okay? So this is a video that I did on my phone. I think I was uh, live on Instagram, no, on Facebook. And then I, I saved the video and then I um we'll edit it so that i can upload it into igtv okay so this is the video you're going to see a title so we're going to create a title very similar to this we're uh, going to talk no but we're going to do videos like this so i'm going to teach you the basic of how to create a video just like this today okay so let's get into it all right so right now you guys are seeing my phone okay and so please bear with me if something doesn't go exactly right. This is my first time doing this, but I think I practiced a little bit, okay? <laughs> All right, so here, um, this is on my phone. I'm gonna click on the InShot app. When you click on it, it's going to open up and you're gonna see a screen very similar to this one. If you're on the iPhone, it might be a tad bit different, but not a whole lot. Then I'm gonna click add video. And uh, it's going to have, you are not going to have these other videos here. Like these are drafts that actually saved. And we'll talk about that later. You're going to hit new. It's going to open up in your video folder. So I'm going to click on my video folder. And I am going for this tutorial, I'm going to see if I can upload a shorter video. So you guys don't have to worry about it. Um, this one right here. Is one I already edited, the one that has seven minutes and 51 seconds. I already edited that. So we're going to take that same video uh, and then you're going to hit the green button at the bottom and it's going to upload. Now, I'm so glad this is showing you this because um, it's always going to open up from the previous like format that you use. And this was the format that I used uh, before. So this will be a, a landscape kind of. Um, presentation right or platform or format this will be a landscape format um but for this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can use the video like an igtv or if you plan to um use it on facebook or facebook loves vertical videos as well so what you do if this happens you want to go and click on canvas 
And then on the canvas button, I am going to change it to the TikTok because this is like the TikTok. Let's scroll over. This is like the TikTok size. So this is six, nine by 16. So I'm going to click here. And as you can see, it automatically adjusts, adjusts. I also want to make the picture a tad bit larger. So I am going to make it larger this way. You can also use your fingers to make it larger as well. And as you and then I'm going to hit the check, right? Now, here's another thing that most people don't think about, which is a, a big thing. And I'm going to show you how to clip some things out because right there I was swatting something that was flying around. Is that typically we do not speak fast, right? I don't. I'm a Southerner, so I tend to speak a lot slower. But if you're a fast talker, then you will not need to do this extra step that I'm about to <laughs> share with you. But for me, I'm not a fast talker. So what I immediately do, I go in and I will speed up my video. And because I'm not a, let me give you guys a little face. Let's see. Because I am not a uh, fast talker, when I increase the speed, uh, and I'm going to increase it to 1.10, it doesn't sound like I am like speed talking at all. It sounds very natural. And so it doesn't, um, it, get rid of, it gets rid of those pauses, like I'm pausing, I'm taking breath in between. It just makes it a little bit smoother transition, right? And so you won't actually hear that speedy sound to it, okay? So just letting you know. So I'm going to speed it up to 1.10. And at 10, I, I realized that that's worked very well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the check mark. And now that I've done the speed up, is now I'm ready to actually clip out some things or split some things, right? So what I do, I go ahead and hit the play button. And we're going to use this split tool right here. That is the split. Right now, it can't split anything because I haven't chosen to split, but that's the split tool we're going to use. And I am going to scroll through and uh, I'm not sure if you can hear the volume. You probably can. And so some of you might do it by hearing and I would probably do it by hearing. And I would split here and then I would select the part that I've split and I will hit delete. So we're going to delete that part. And then I would go in here and I will find another area that I will want to split. Let's see if I can turn the volume up on my phone and if I can hear it. Okay. <laughs> How you guys doing today? So I hope you guys are not hearing an echo. Um, I hope that's not the case. So I am going to split right here. And then, and again, because I can't really hear, I don't, I'm, I'm, af I'm afraid that you might hear echoes. So I'm going to split this right here. And that part before that, I know I didn't explain that. So this was the part that I don't want. And so I'm going to select that and delete it. But I don't want a, I want a smooth, like, you see how that jump is sort of, it's sort of jumpy, like a nervous jump. And I don't particularly like that. I like my, my transitions to be smooth. And so we're going to click on that little white um, box with a line through it. So I'm going to click on that. And I am going to um, select a transition. So as you can see that there are a lot of transitions. You've got the fade transition. So you can see. Let me turn my phone down. You've got the like the circle transition. Saw that. You can have a transition that uh, slides down. One that slides across. If you can see that. You can have, these are some other super duper other types of um, <laughs> transition, which is spinning. You can have a glitch kind of effect. And I think these uh, transitions that you guys are seeing are, are part of the pro version. If you do have these transitions in the free version, please let me know in the comments so I know going forward. You can also have a splice transition. 
that's a lot going on. That look like a splice and a and a and a spin all at the same time. But typically, what I do, I keep it simple, and I just use the fade transition. And as you can see, that would be the fade. Okay, so that's how you would add your transitions. And I would do some more uh, splitting. Again, this is not going to be absolutely perfect because I cannot hear what you guys probably are hearing. And so I'm going to scroll through. Typically, I will let it play and then I will hit where I want to split that. Then I will select that part that I want to get rid of and hit delete. And then I will add my transitions in there. OK. And so now I've got my transition transitions. And so what I'm going to do is cut this. I'm going to go ahead and just shorten it all together. And this would be my end. Um, and this would be, and this is only for demo purposes, right? Typically, my IG videos, I try to keep them under about uh, seven minutes. The really the sweet spot, the sweet spot is five minutes. Uh, but sometimes I just have some good content that I want to share. And I can't figure out how to uh, delete some of the good stuff. So I just keep it in. So my, my times I keep my IGTV is about seven minutes, right? For Facebook, you can go up to 10 minutes. I think that's a great time for uh, Facebook. They tend to drop off around by eight minutes on Facebook. So 10 minutes might be the limit for you as well. So, and when you speed it up to that 1.10, it does give you a couple of more um, minutes that you can, it, you know, it shrinks it down a little bit. Okay. If that makes sense. All right. So let's go back. All right. So now that I have, I have spliced it. I've did my transitions. I've showed you guys how to speed it up. I talked about canvas size, uh, and this was just in case you forgot. This is the canvas size, and I chose to do the TikTok size. Um, if you were going to upload this to YouTube, then you would use the YouTube, which is sixteen by nine. But in this demo, we're going to be using the nine by sixteen. And so now what I'm ready to do is I'm basically ready to add some text to my video. So I'm going to add an intro text to let people know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to hit the T for text. I'm going to type what I'm saying. Um, I can't remember what I'm talking about. I'm like how to overcome problems. All right. And as you can see, it is typing in the bar. And you also might say, well, oh, at least it's that's too big. You can't see it. Right. And I want to show you how to fix that. Um, you can also just click back on it. And so if you click off and it and you can't see it, what you want to do is drag the text over. You want to hit the edit button or you can hit the, uh, the pin the pencil tool on the on the text at the top or you can hit edit here and so i want to edit and maybe i don't like the font and so you get all of these different font choices as well you can change the color with the color wheel and i'm going to make it black and this is important so we're going to come back to that uh, and i'm gonna hit the check mark because what i want to do is size this down so what you would do is take your thumbs and you would just slide I mean, minimize it, make it small. And the text is still pretty long, right? I don't really like that. And you really can't see it because it gets lost in my skin color. You can't really see it, right? So what I'm going to go back to, I'm going to hit the edit button. And I'm going to drop the overcome your problems. I'm going to put my cursor right between the two in the overcome. And I am going to drop it to the next line. I want to make sure it is centered. So you see the hamburger bar right here at the bottom, that hamburger bar right there, the hamburger like, you know, stat. I am going to make sure it is centered. I want my text, as you can see, it's not that tight. That's, that's enlarged that a little bit. It's not that tight, like there's a lot of space in between. So I'm going to see if I can, you'll take the hamburger stack here and you'll move it. It's still too tight in between. So I'm going to have to fix that. And probably where I'm going to fix that is changing the font. So if I change the font, okay, that's a little tighter as you guys can see. But you still cannot see it. You can see it, but it's still like my skin color and my shirt and my, all that gets 
get to, you, you. I want you to be able to see it. So I want to add a white background. So what I'm going to do is click on the color wheel. And here on the color wheel, you get the option to change the text color. You get the option to change the border, which is the border around the words. Okay. That gives it a little bit of pop, but still, even if I move it here, you can see it. Um, you can add a shadow. I don't really do shadows a lot, so I really don't know how that looks, but you can add a shadow. Here's where you can add a background color. So you hit label and I can click white as my background color. Okay. So because I have a border around that, that's why that's looking a little crazy. So I'm going to go back to border and I'm going to hit no border. Um, and I think I have a shadow on that too. So I'm going to hit off. Right. So now the shadow is gone. And so the label, if you don't want a white background, you can choose a pink. I can choose a black, a red, which is really hard to read. OK, so be careful with red and red also means um, alert. Right. So that cannot be a good thing unless you want you want to alert people or something. Um, but typically I keep it, you guys know, I keep it simple. So we're going to use a white background. So that will be my title. And then you also can, um, uh, change how this title comes in. So if I want my title to fade when it comes in. It'll fade. If you guys saw that really quick, it happened really quick. Uh, if I wanted it to have some of this looping effect, like you see how it's shaking, I can do that. But you guys know I like to keep it simple. So I'm just going to keep the fade effect. And I want to make sure the fade is in when it when it enters and when it exits. So out, it will also fade out. OK, so in and out. Typically, whatever you choose for the in is also going to transfer to the out as well. Meaning, again, if, it, if you guys didn't catch that, it is how the text will appear. When it enters, it will fade in. When it exits out, it is going to fade out. OK, and I hope that makes sense. OK, so that's going to be my title. And right now we're going to play this. Hit play and the title appears. And maybe I want my title to be to show to appear longer. So what I'm going to do is click on the title on the on the uh, above the video and I'm going to slide it over just a tad bit. So now that the title now appears longer on the screen. Even when it transitions, OK, now another question I get a lot from you guys is how do I add my emojis? And so sometimes I have fun little emoji things. And this is where I call it the magic happens. So if you click over here to sticker, you can add sticker. And automatically, I know for a fact on the free version, they add these. Okay. And the paid, what well not, maybe in the free, free version as well, you can add some additional stickers. Like these are some additional stickers. You got these are stickers that you can just download. Some of them do have a cost to them, but if you have the paid account, these are free. So if I tell someone, hey, here, you know, uh, follow me on Twitter, I can add that. So let's go ahead and add that. But I'm going to show you some other ones. These are some other stickers that you can add. And all you would do is download these. OK, here's some other fun ones as well. Uh, you've got these. And so all of these are downloadable. Uh, that you would just add. So let's go back to that one. And I'm going to add, I'm not on Twitter, so let's not even add Twitter. Let's put Instagram. Okay. So I'm going to hit the check mark. And then I am going to size this down. And I'm going to add my Twitter. And so maybe I'm saying in the video, hey, follow me on Twitter. And But I want to also put my handle. So what I would do is that I would add a text box. I will put my handle. Right. And again, that text is really big. So I'm going to make it smaller by just dragging in the corners and I'm going to move it over. And then I'm going to take my fingers, my thumbs, and I'm going to size it. It probably needs to be a tad bigger. Right. So that would be my Instagram. I need to center that a little bit too. And here's that song on Instagram. And I want to make sure that the Instagram emblem 
appears about the same time as my name, my handle, and I want to make sure it all exit. You know, they all it leaves my video at the same time. Okay, and so that that's right. Okay, but if you want both of these to stay on the screen longer, you drag drag the bar or the, I don't know what you want to call it. Let's say tag. You drag the tag out longer, but you also need to do it for my name. And so you want to eyeball it to see if it's lined up. And then you want to drag to make sure as the video goes, they all exit. Okay. There we go. All right. And so as a bonus, I said I wasn't going to talk about this, but then after you're done and you're finished with it, you hit the check mark because that's good. And so sometimes I go back and I play it to make sure everything lines up correctly. And it does. And then at the end, I might put some music at the end. So this is a bonus. <laughs> this is a bonus. The music is going to be a bonus. So let me show you how to do that. <laughs> Oh, they ended on an odd spot. Okay, so you hit the music tab, right? And so you see canvas and then you see the music. So I'm going to click music. And I'm going to add, you can add your own track. So if you have music on your phone, you can add your own. If you want to do a voiceover, sometimes we see videos that are playing and people do a voiceover over the videos. You can do that as well. I'm sorry, I had to get something to drink. You can do that as well by hitting the record button, but I don't do all that. I just want to add um, tracks that are already on the phone. So again, uh, I'm speaking from a paid version. Uh, I think the free version, you uh, do get tracks as well. I don't know if you get as many as these, um, but if you want, if you have music already on your phone, you can uh, upload music if you have that on your phone or any, you know, recording that you might have. So I'm going to choose, let's choose one of these. And you can actually click on it and listen to it play. Let's see. And if you like it, you hit use. And if you're going to use this uh, music in like your YouTube video, you do want to hit copy and give people credit in the description. Okay. So I'm going to hit use. And so now that music is going to play toward the end, I'm going to drag it over a little bit. You select and drag it over. And I'm going to select it. So if you need to clip it or shorten it, I'm going to splice that part. And I'm going to delete that first part. You see that part I selected? So I'm going to delete that because it really doesn't have like no like you can see the bars there's really no sound at the beginning so i'm just going to delete that and then i'm going to i'm going to select it again cuz i wanted to end right at the end of my video so i'm going to splice that and i'm going to delete this part at the end and then i want the music to fade in and fade out so i'm going to hit select and then i'm going to hit volume and by me selecting volume, I can increase the sound, the volume in the back so you can still hear me talking. But I want the music to fade in for the first 0.3 seconds. And then I want it to fade out in the same about 0.3 seconds. So I'm going to hit check mark. And if you listen to it, I'm going to see if I can hear it. If Again, if there's feedback, I apologize. So let's hit. I can't hear it. So let's do that again. Possible and by doing it their way. That's what I do. So you hear that music? I should have put more music to the end. It should have been longer than that. Uh, let's see. You can always undo what you've done by hitting the arrow at the top over to the left hand side. That will undo what you did. So I'm gonna undo, I'm gonna undo again. And then I am going to move more music over here. And then I am going to splice it like I did before. Uh oh, did I splice that in the wrong spot? Hit undo. This is where I want to splice it. So I got to move it back. Slice, delete this part, select it, change my volume, bring the volume down. 
the end at about three seconds. Then I want to fade out about the same time. And so now when I play it, you see, that's it. Once you've done all of that, you might want to watch it again to make sure things look good. Your titles are where they need to be. And then the last thing you want to do is hit save. Hit the save button. It's going to give you the option of the quality. I tend to pick uh, between 1080p or I would select 720p. Uh, for this purposes, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, 720. Uh, 720 tends to work on both platforms. Um, it just, uh, even YouTube, so it's still going to have high quality. Once it's uh, saved, it's going to save to your phone, but you also have other options to go ahead and share it to Instagram. So if you're going to share it to Instagram, you can do that. If you did some kind of a TikTok video, you can go ahead and share it in TikTok or Facebook. If you created it uh, in the YouTube size, which is uh, landscape, you can already upload it to um to YouTube as well. So these are other places that you can upload it, which I think is awesome. Um, then once you are done, you can hit the home button. And what I've noticed that if you hit the home button, that draft that you created will be saved. So I could go back and re-edit this video, which I absolutely love. I think it's a new feature that they added some months ago, but you can go back and re-edit that video. It was saved all the things you've already done. And maybe you want to uh, repurpose it for YouTube. So now it's already saved uh, as a draft. You can go back. You don't have to add your text to it again, blah, blah, blah. It's just a really great feature. So in my next tutorial, I will show you guys how to take a, um, a vertical video and how I actually use a vertical video on YouTube and turn it into a landscape video. So that will be an additional training. Okay. So... Once that video is saved, you can go into your uh, folder, your video folder. It's going to be in a folder. Let me pull that folder up. Oops. It's going to be in a your gallery folder. So let me give you guys some more video here. And it's going to be in a folder called InShot. And there it is. And that's the video we just created. It will be in your folder on your phone. So if you wanted to, if you did not automatically upload it into uh, InShot, then, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, into Instagram, then what you do is now it is on your phone. And so now you can actually upload it to IGTV from your phone or from Facebook. All right. So that's the short tutorial on how to use my favorite, favorite app, in shot on your phone, really simple. Um, and guys, it's a great way to repurpose videos that you're doing. So if you're showing up live, like I do on Facebook, I actually save my live videos to my phone. And then I go back and I edit the videos, just like I've showed you guys. I speed it up. I cut it back. I cut out some of the, you know, how you say, Hey, how you doing? All I cut all that stuff out and I repurpose that live video and use that video in, 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 um, IG, Instagram, and I also use that video in YouTube. And that this is the foundation, like the start of how you can edit your videos as well. All right. So I hope this tutorial helped you on how to use the, my favorite, favorite app, InShot. And if you have any questions or you want me to show you any other additional tutorials on how to use InShot in any way, please leave those comments in the, um, in the comments below. And to help me out, go ahead and subscribe to this video so that you can get notifications of future videos like this in the near future. All right. Thank you guys so much for showing up. You guys have an awesome and blessed day and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.